I hope you are all excited for some gesture drawing today. We got anyone who's uh, going to be drawing along today with us? Oh yes, we are a fine art goose today. Got our fancy little canvas. Our palette all ready to go. <laughs> all right, yeah. Uh, so today we're gonna be doing draw along gesture drawing. We'll be doing people and then I think we'll do animals second. Uh, there's a few things we can talk about for drawing people. So I feel like that one goes well first. So make sure you have your favorite art program ready and, or pencil and paper. That's also, there's no wrong way to do this, I think. Whatever medium you feel like using is the right one. <laughs> All right. So really quickly first, we have some ground rules we're gonna discuss. Ground rules for gesture drawing. Be respectful of the models. Uh, these are going to be photos from lineofaction.com. Uh, be respectful of the models. So that includes, you know, no critiquing bodies or unhelpful comments. You want to be a very, you know, want to have a nice time. Be respectful of of all the bodies that we see, animal or, or people, and then be respectful of each other. So if you're partaking and you see someone else's drawing, don't give critique unless they ask for it, but you know, you can always say something nice if you like. But unless someone asks for critique, I'm just not going to give it today, unless they ask for it. And the last rule is, of course, have fun. You can use whatever you want uh, for your drawings. You can do traditional, you can do digital. I hope that if you are partaking, you will share in the artist lobby on Discord. Because I would love to see, I always love, I always love to see what people get up to with gesture drawing. There's no skill level required. You can be a beginner, you can be an intermediate, you can be a pro. You can have never held a pencil before and still partake if you like. <laughs> I, I just know I've seen a lot of people who say like, I'm not very good at it and I don't know if I should. And it's like, you should, you should totally do it. Uh, we'll go quickly over what we will be using for our drawings today. We're using lineofaction.com. Uh, they have a lot of really helpful practice stuff. Oh, sorry. My mouse is going to go everywhere today. That's fine. <laughs> Put that hand underneath it. There we go. Okay. So yeah, we're using line of action today. They have a lot of helpful stuff. For example, we got figure drawing. We got animals. You can do facial expressions. hands and feet. You could do backgrounds. Today we're just going to be working on figures. Let's do a really quick little tutorial. They actually have a little tutorial online of action, which is helpful. Uh, for figures, it's helpful to start with a line of action. What is a line of action, you ask? That is, what well, says it on here, but it's probably very small for you guys. Uh, line of action, a line of action is kind of like your spine. It's where your action is following along with. So as seen in this example, there we go, we're back. Get that to the side. 
So a line of action is going to be, if you have a figure standing, it's going to be kind of their spine. And you can either, I've seen two schools of thought. You can do it wherever you're connecting with the ground. So like the most, so whatever is the weight bearing can be your line of action. Some poses I feel like don't, some examples of uh, other people's drawings don't. You could have like, oh yeah, here is your rib cage. <laughs> line of action. I like to go next to like an oval for the rib cage, a box or another kind of oval for your pelvis. See in this example, this could be one foot and maybe this is the other foot. This is just one way of doing figure drawing that's pretty common. You don't have to do it if you don't feel like it. Again, there's kind of no wrong way to do this. Just do what feels right for you. Let's see. That's kind of the basics. We got your, yeah, your rib cage, your pelvis. Those are good for people. I feel like these rules don't necessarily work as well on animals sometimes. They have a lot more points of contact with the ground. But... We'll do people first because that one has a little bit more of a, I feel like, a formula to it. You can see some examples of what some gesture drawings here look like. Alright, so I'm going to set up the class mode. Draw. Figure study. This site's really handy because it lets you pick things like... I'm gonna do I'm gonna say adults only actually you know what we can do teens too there's teens here this is a by the way this is a PG 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 13 uh, gesture drawing so we're only gonna do covered models for now we're gonna be doing class mode as well which means we are going to start with a lot of really quick drawings and ease into longer drawings. So you might start with a 30 second one. You might only get your line of action. You might only get a line of action. Like this for me is a great, <laughs> this is a great 30 second gesture. It kind of tells you all you need to know about this pose to work on it later. So don't worry about making it look accurate to the photo. You don't need to get everything in just work on getting like maybe your position your position for limbs and stuff but it does not need to be realistic all right does everyone feel does everyone feel ready to go All right, well, yay, gesture. Let us get ready to start. So we're gonna do 30 minutes. They're gonna start off with 30 seconds each. Oh no, my VTuber is behind. How did that happen? Where'd my canvas go? Why is this on top? Oh shucks, oh well. I'll turn that off for now maybe. Yeah, we're having we're having bloopers in real time. I have no idea why this is appearing. Backwards. I literally set this up a few seconds ago. This is <sighs> nightmare right here. That's okay. Can I move this? Back out? There we go. Now it's on top. We fixed it. <laughs> All right. I know the layers. I'm like, I fixed it. How did it? How did it get so weird? Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's start. Uh, we're going to be doing. So this is human drawing, figure drawing. Thirty minutes. We're going to start with a few poses at uh, thirty seconds long. It's going to ease into one minute, and then I think we have one or two five minutes, and then the last one will be ten minutes long. So pace yourselves. Don't worry about getting everything in in the thirty seconds. One minute is more like you can try and catch more of the figure in it, and 
then up to like five minutes. Ten minutes is when you could when I would say like if you want to add any sort of rendering, go for it. Don't worry about rendering before then. I did turn the canvas off <laughs> or the canvas hand off. That's okay. Cause you're gonna see you're gonna be seeing my hand in the top screen anyway. Alright. We ready? Ready to go. Let us... Wait, I'm gonna move over. There we go. I like to do a new... I like to do a new layer per drawing. Because that's how I roll. Uh. I'm already behind. There is also a timer up at the, uh... Why am I doing this mirrored? Oh well! Apologies. While I'm drawing, I'm actually pretty quiet usually. <laughs> but uh, that's just because I'm scrambling. Start with a nice little line of action there. Keeping the pelvis and the rib kind of tilted towards each other can create some interesting... So as you can see, mine are pretty messy. I'm not really worried about drawing anything other than just the broad strokes. An interesting note about using C shapes. I think some people say don't use S shapes for, for uh, the line of action, but using S and C shapes is usually pretty nice. You don't really want to focus on having a lot of straight lines. Oh, that's a bad one. <laughs> Sometimes I draw too big, but I think that's a digital art. Failing that I have. But yeah, you can see using those nice curved shapes look nice although this is definitely like ugh, feels like that but I know they say you see shapes more but I don't think there's a wrong way whatever works for you oh okay so the ribs are like this I think the pelvis is like that the chaos of doing 30 seconds. 30 seconds is just kind of meant to loosen you up. The 30 second one. I'm kind of trying to determine, oh, maybe it's the other way. I kind of try and determine the spine shape based on where the if the like the pelvis is tilted a different way than the ribs yeah don't worry about being perfect on these i'm sure not <laughs> rib pelvis leg i like focusing on the legs more than the arms is something you might have noticed <laughs> Uh, because uh, they usually are supporting the weight of a figure, so I find them kind of more important, personally, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, 
this way. Spine. Pelvis. I like to keep things kind of flowy. Apologies for any noise in the background. It's <laughs> all of the things. Ooh, got a nice shape of that spine there. This is still another 30 seconds. I'm gonna be happy when the 30 seconds are over. I think like the minute ones are where I'm most happy. <laughs> Also, apologies, chat. I am not looking at you very, very much right now because I'm just like, ah, panic. 30 seconds. Uh, and also, like, you don't need to necessarily worry about proportion at this point. Don't worry about being super accurate. I'm just kind of just warming up. These kind of really quick gestures. Oh, wait, was this a longer one? Oh yeah, this is a minute. The These kind of gestures are really just getting the essence of your pose. So, you know, when I have longer, I might actually like be like, maybe indicate some hand. It's a really thick brush actually. Maybe indicate the legs more. Slightly more time on these. Again, don't worry about being perfect on these. I'm definitely not. <laughs> but I like to kind of get some of the shapes in here a little bit at the minute mark. Definitely not worrying about faces. <laughs> I do end up getting a little bit more line outliney when I have the minute ones, but it's probably not the best way. Beep, beep. Yeah, see, I got too distracted there. Oh, I like this pose. Oh, 14 seconds left. Yeah, I don't really have time to do anything other than <laughs> that, but man, I do love this pose. I wish this was like the longer study. Those are coming up. Just you wait. Oh, 
a little bit of a curve going on. I'm trying to avoid those straight lines. I like the shapes a lot here. The black actually helps highlight some things for me, which is nice. Oh, I'm not gonna try and draw a foot right now. <laughs> Listen, I've, I've embraced drawing feet recently. They, they can be fun. But now is not the time. We got five seconds left. Ah! Didn't even get the arms in. There. Arms. <laughs> those sticks. Those are arms. Uh, save. Probably curved this way more than, than not. Oh, this is already too... Also, I hope you guys can see my drawings okay. I kind of tend to draw all over the canvas, but... Keeping that. Nice flow. Oh, this is a longer one. Ah, I am always bad at checking the times. We'll be fine. Sometimes when it's a longer pose, I'll actually go ahead and just draw the quick gesture. And then kind of do a more of a outline-y. I want to feel like I'm Rest assured, once we are through with the gesture for people, we'll go ahead and post these up kind of midstream because we have enough time that we can share in between and then we'll do the animal ones. This is kind of our rib cage here. Oh, I still got two minutes. <laughs> Just kind of tilt it a little bit more this way. So I want to emphasize that. Let me also say that figure drawing practice isn't just for people who want to draw very realistic stuff. It's really helpful also for if you do cartoony stuff. It helps you know how to push shapes in that. So you don't need to think, oh, this isn't for me. I don't want to draw realistic. It's still good. It's still good even when you're drawing more cartoony stuff. I'm doing that thing where I tend to emphasize the part that I'm looking at the most. <laughs> it's a bit of a bad habit. Oh, still got one minute left. A little kneecap in there. I've recently been actually trying to learn more um, anatomy. 
I'm still kind of learning all the muscles. There's a lot of them. A lot of muscles. But it's been really cool to learn. Because I never really wanted to learn when I was younger. I thought, oh, I want to draw cartoon stuff. I don't want to... And animals, I don't need to learn anatomy, but... I find it all kind of relates back. Obviously, you can tell I'm still learning. That's okay, though. Everyone is in a different place in their journey. And if you're not where you want to be just yet, well, that just means you can practice. Ooh, we're done. Okay. That's actually not too bad. I like that. Okay, next one. Ooh. Definitely feels like Spine does that. It's funny, a line of action itself has like a thing being like, don't do S shapes. And I'm like, but that's what the spines do. Uh, thanks, Commander Aim 9. Glad you're enjoying so far. Once again, drawn too large. This is actually, if you've done figure drawing in real life on paper, I think the biggest uh, struggle for people usually is drawing big enough to fit your canvas, whereas uh, digital art, I find the biggest struggle is not drawing too big. <laughs> like, I always want to draw way too large, because I know I can just resize it. nice shape there's my gesture we still have three whole more minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and add use that as like my little skeleton I have been learning about scapulas and shoulders and stuff and I find those absolutely bonkers. Scapula is so weird. How did we evolve that way? Ooh, this is an interesting little angle to try and draw. Hope you guys are doing good on your own versions. I've definitely seen some schools of thought that are like, you shouldn't focus on outlines, but I kind of default to it a lot because I find it relaxing and nice to do. There's different ways to do it. You can do more like contoury to get your gestures in, but I don't know, longer ones. Kind of like them. Ooh, although I will run out of time if I don't hurry to get this. Got my gesture in. You know, I'm gonna move this arm a little more over.
confession, I used to do a gesture drawing practice at least once a week. And I have not had time lately, so if you can tell I'm, a, I'm also a little rusty. Twenty three seconds. Can we finish this foot? We did it. <laughs> There's my little dude. All right, I'm just going to get the new layer ready for the next one. And this is our 10 minute pose. So you have a whole 10 minutes. I'm going to start off with my gesture. Let's see, which way do I think the... I think what I'm going to do for her spine is do a little bit more this way. So that I can have the leg come down like that. There's a something I learned um, in from a gesture drawing book I was actually reading that I found quite helpful. Someone recommended. I'll I'll post some links to some books that I've been reading that I found helpful recently. If anyone would like in the art chat, but it talked about. Um, Kind of having these like rhythm lines that I really like, like kind of, you know, having this instead of this, it helps guide your eye down when it's got a bit of a back and forth, you know, your eye goes this way <laughs> instead of eh, stop, eh, stop, eh, stop. So I've been trying to think about that when I draw recently. So if my lines look very kind of flowy, this is this is uh, intentional. <laughs> See, and I've drawn my legs. Now I gotta draw my arms. I also like kind of thinking about the shape of the bones a little bit. They're they're not they're not straight. They've got shapes <laughs> and such. All right, uh, that's gonna be my gesture, and I'm gonna do a version over top of that. I'm gonna take a really quick sip of water because we got seven minutes. I guess I should have advised people to grab their water before we started next time. Make sure to make sure to like we'll make sure to have a little stretch break before we do the uh, animal portion. I'm kind of just doing outline thing, outline-y mode sort of for this gesture. But some things I'm thinking about as I go are, you can see I have my rib cage, kind of indicates where, where the waist is. I've got my shoulder connection up here. It's going to be right under the... Oh, this this brush isn't great for drawing fine detail, but 
I'll draw her ear. I really could have picked a better program to draw in, but I kind of just had Flash open, so I said, uh, we'll just do Flash. Flash today. <laughs> I think I normally, I actually quite like drawing in Procreate for this kind of thing. Or Photoshop. We think about the pelvis. You can think that we have like, you can think of it as kind of like a bowl shape. It's kind of holding all your innards up. The uh, part that goes along the outside, I think, is called like, like this, this part of the pelvis. Ugh, arrow. <laughs> it's kind of called. I think it's the iliac crest. So it's a structure that you can look for in uh, your drawings for for photos. There's, there's things called, like, bony landmarks that you can kind of use to orient other parts of the figure as well. Oh, and this is a four-minute warning. So, the you know, like crest is one of them. You consider, like, you can kind of see this little furrow from the bone and muscle for your... Let's see... Is it the tibia or the fibia? I can never remember the name of the leg bones, but I think the outside one, you can kind of see the furrow one there. You can see the little ankle, the ankle bone. I am definitely still learning this stuff, but it's really, it's really cool to learn it. I was always intimidated to try before. I was like, oh, I don't need to. It's probably not for me, but uh, it's been really cool. And it only helps kind of ground drawings more, but again, whatever you feel like, whatever your journey looks like is fine. If you're like, nah, that's not the stuff I want to do and I'm happy, then keep on keeping on. We got two minutes left. Now, fun anatomy fact. There's, I can't remember where it is, but there's something. There's some part of the, uh, behind the leg in this, like, little diamondy area there. I'm not joking. It was, it has, like, goose in the name. I'll look it up later and share it in the chat, but it was... I remember reading that and just going like, oh, <laughs> goose. Probably exaggerated this a little more than I meant to. Back. All right. On that concept of like the rhythm. Where is it actually? You know what? Yeah, here. I'm gonna inch this up a little bit more. And talk about like the rhythm. I've got like this nice line that kind of does this little, you know, wave almost down the calf. It's like kind of a rhythm that I never really noticed was in the human form before getting into kind of like anatomy and gesture. But I've really been enjoying learning about that. Because then on the other side, it's like calf. Kind of has like a... Oh. Not great at explaining it, but it's there and I like it. like 
the way the shapes flow. Oh, wait, we're on only 30 seconds left, and I haven't even drawn that other arm yet. Whoops. Whoops. I got so distracted by that leg. Oh, well. We're not being graded, so... And no one will critique you unless, as we discussed, no one will critique you unless you want to be critiqued. And that's it! We're done! This is the part where I pretend like, shh, it didn't end. I'm gonna <laughs> fix the hair. <laughs> that was definitely closer. Well, that was our first session, guys. Did you have fun? Did you like it? If you drew along, please share. I would love to see in the art discord. I'm gonna actually quickly tab over to the art discord. Actually, as I, as you guys, if anyone partook, if you want to go ahead and save off your doodles, I'm gonna quickly do that myself. What I like to do, I'll bring it back to the What I like to do, personally, is save all my drawings. I like to put them all on a page. And even if you don't feel like they're the best, that's okay. It's still cool to keep, keep kind of a record to see how you've improved. And if you don't feel like you improved, that just means you're probably ready for a different step in your study, like doing anatomy or anything else. There's a lot of, I don't think there's really a wrong way to advance your, your study. Like, I feel like even just going and being like, maybe I'll do music today instead. I think it all kind of connects. There's things you can learn from any creative study, I think. Which is really cool. You know, maybe you also do sewing. You can take you can bring that in to your into it. I feel like everything kind of relates. Here's all my little... This is, this is what I like to do after I finish. I just put them all in one big image. And I usually start going smaller on the quicker ones. <laughs> Cause they're they're pretty they're pretty basic. You don't need to see a lot to get a lot, get all that they are from them. My little my little circle dudes. So next we'll be doing animals. If you want to do more people, we're actually going to do a... It's labeled not safe for work. It's just going to be with uh, uncovered models. Using the same... The same uh, website tool for drawing. So it's all educational. So oh, that's my that was my my stream post. I, I drew a beaver. <laughs> yeah, alright, I'm gonna quickly post these to Discord. Let's see what time are we at? It's 5.45. We're doing pretty good for time. 
post these up. One sec. Screenshot. Screenshot mode. Alright. Let's see. Where is that Discord? Sorry. Choo 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 is definitely my pending sound effect. Oh, KG Wolf. Sorry. I'm just looking now. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh my goodness. Tamarin, yours are so good! Holy heck. So talented. Here's mine. There, I'll post it in the... <laughs> wow. Oh, man. We'll definitely check out the... Actually, you guys are in the chat. Is it okay if I show them on the stream? Oh, I'm just looking at the chat. Hey, Iowasi. It was very fun. We're going to do another round of gesture drawing, but next time with animals, if you want to partake. That's probably going to be... We're going to take like a quick 5-10 minutes to look at some of the other art. And uh, stretch. Oh, yeah. Get some water if you need to. Now is a great time to grab some water. I'm going to see if I can quickly open up. Can I get the open link? There we go. Is that showing on the stream? Ah, <gasps> it is. Gosh, Tamarin. That's so impressive. Great work. I love, I love your figures. I like, is that okay if I say, I'm not going to give like any negative critique, obviously, but I just want to say I really like the sense of volume and like weight that everyone has. It looks so cool. Oh, wow. Live, KG, live fursuit drawing sounds so much fun. Oh, I wish I could have been there. That sounds great. Maybe, maybe one day we can like get something like that going for CozyCon. That'd be so cool. KG, is it okay if I show yours? It's in the Discord. Is that alright? Alright. I, I take that as yes. One sec, let me open link. Oops, wrong tab. Let's see. There we go. Oh wow, yeah. I love the feeling of like movement with those like gesture, the like the lighter gesture lines. Excellent stuff. In the rendering on that second one. Oh, so good. Great work, great work. You guys are so talented. Yeah, the shading's really nice. That's actually like the one thing I almost never do, especially when I'm digital. I never add rendering, but I always love seeing it. So thank you. That was such a treat to see. Wrong tab. So, I think we could probably take a quick break to grab some water. Grab water, do a quick stretch. Maybe I'll actually, ooh. Be very gentle when you stretch. I'll see if I can find. Sometimes I have those little artist guide. Artist guide wrist stretch. Images. Stretching is important. Especially when you're doing like studies and stuff. I I find I can be a little bit uh struggle to struggle to uh do stretching, especially when I'm doing studies, because it's so back to back to back. So 
for these, it's really great if you can see them. I'll try and do the closer view. Oh, no, that's not the closer view. I guess that was the closest of views. Uh, for these, it's super, super good to do. Is that going to take me to the closer page? At least 30 seconds. Oh, okay, there we go. At least 30 seconds on each and just hold it very gently. If there's any pain, light, go lighter. You t pain is not the goal. But you want to hold like 30 seconds for each. And just be very gentle. I know, I know many artists who have repetitive strain injuries. I am kind of one of them. I think I have tendon like chronic tendonitis now in my shoulder. So regular maintenance stretching is good. Whole body stretching is also very important. I'm definitely going to do some of that later. Drinking water, eating well, all of these things can make have an impact on your hand and wrist health. I feel you, KG Wolf. Hands are hard, although I kind of like them now. I actually like feet more, weirdly, because I never knew how to draw feet, and then I set out to learn them, and I did a bunch of study for them, and now I'm like, oh, feet feel way easier to me than hands. <laughs> like, hands are so expressive, and we look at them so much more than we look at feet, so that's also why. All right. I'm going to start setting up for next. We're gonna do animals this time. Now, oh yeah, apologies if you can hear the dog upstairs bark. <laughs> Silencio Bruno. Uh, we have the option of if we want to do insects or no insects. Some people really hate insects, so... If anyone in, in anyone watching hates insects and does not want to see them come up, speak now or forever hold your peace. Yeah, there's gonna be birds. Oh, oh, I, see. I, oh, I see. There's actually a weird amount of geese photos in rotation. Cause every time I go to do animals in like a group drawing session, people will be like, "Did you, did you like, you know, add geese photos?" I'm like, "Nope. This is just the site has a lot of geese photos." Okay, okay, <laughs> no insects. No insects. Good. Okay, do we want to do skeletons? <laughs> Northern Wolf also says no spiders. <laughs> yeah, agree. Spiders, no thank you. Uh... Oh, yeah, no insects, I think. We can include skeletons, or we can only have live animals. I think there's benefits to both, but I can understand if we don't feel like drawing those today. Yes, yeah, skeletons. Fun fact, we all have a little skeleton inside of us. Okay. Skeletons are good. Include them. Skellies are great. This is also going to be a class mode. Let's see, what time does this panel go till again? I believe it was... I believe it goes till... It started at five, I think it was an hour and a half. So yeah, we'll have... If we start now, we'll have a few minutes right at the end to review. All right. You guys ready? Sip my water. Oh, I'm gonna also get my canvas ready. Oops. Pop those all in there. All right, guys, you're all ready. Let us start let the frantic 30 second long <laughs> poses begin 
Oh jeez, there's this is like a two for there's two. I'm only drawing the animal though. And I find it's a little harder to do. <laughs> Line of action. My normal figure drawing rules don't apply necessarily always to animal. Like they, you know, they have more legs. Not legs. More legs making contact with the ground. Does that make sense? Do not expect my animal drawings to be good, weirdly. <laughs> Turtle. Oh, I gotta quickly there. Take the bottom bar off. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh, majestic. I'm not gonna have time to do this one really, but he's perfect. Look at this little man. <laughs> my drawing not so much. Ah. <laughs> It's okay. It's all, it's all valid. <gasps> Fish. What do you call a fish with no eyes? Psh. If you ever want fish jokes, I have a lot of them. Horse. At least the at line of action on this horse super felt like easy. I'm actually really bad at drawing horses. I like to try, but the knees. The knees are too much for me. <gasps> it's the beaver I was drawing earlier. Once again, I'm kind of just focusing on gesture, so these aren't really going to look much. <laughs> Mine don't really look much like the thing I'm drawing until later. What? Jaguar? Leopard? Oof. Which one is this one? I always get them a little confused. Oh, is this like... Sounds like Feather Time, Forrest Gump. Do, 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 do. Bird! Your wish for birds has been granted. Well, that's really quick. Wing. Wing, tail, bod, leg. Pretend that I got the beak. I, I never focus on their face until later. Ah, oh, another bird. Yes. Bird hype. I love their necks. I'm biased. <laughs> oh, I didn't even draw the legs. Whoops. Oh, uh, is this a wombat or a kangaroo? It's got legs. My pen had a moment there. Tail. Leg. <gasps> Look at how many birds are in here. So happy. <laughs> it's a bomb bird. Look, this time, this time for real, I get the leg. 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 
I'll even get that beak in there so you all know what it is. <laughs> That's a really terrible beak. <laughs> for I usually focus on the neck first. The neck and like the body. Uh, what? Ah, oh, this one's a minute. I was going to tell you all a joke about minnows, but it's a little fishy. Yeah, yeah. Don't know what kind of fish this is. If anyone in chat knows, help us out. <laughs> kind of fish is this? <laughs> oh, I ran out of time. It's another minute one. Hello again, horses. Oh, another note that didn't really come up in the figure drawing as much, but having, like, starting with your, like, lungs, pelvis sort of thing, or, like, ribcage and pelvis sort of thing can be really helpful because it also helps you get a really quick sense, like, capture that quick sense of perspective, I guess. So, like, I have some overlap on where... that that perspective is right words are hard horses too small <laughs> or too big too big for my canvas all right oh i ran out of time oh well we, until next time horse i'm just gonna draw you in circles bub another minute one I really love I don't know if this is a frog or a toad but I love their like head shapes so much Weird little fingers. I love it. Do I have time? Oh, no, not really to draw that leg. Uh, uh. There. That's <laughs> sort of frog leg. <gasps> Squirrel. Animate has an auto save that keeps trying to kick in. I love their bushy tails. We get a lot of squirrels in this area. It's actually one of the few wildlife we really have. About 20 seconds left. It's very monkey proportions. <laughs> Lizard. I don't know if Holly Bear made it back. Holly Bear loves lizards. Look at this long little dude. I like how this, uh, their arms kind of come up. It's like they're always in some sort of downward dog pose. Half dog? I don't know. Interesting head shapes again eyes kind of at the front and they kind of pop out. Oh, look at that pupil. That's intense. 
I have to make Holly proud and do it as long as possible. <laughs> it's like pelvis is way over here, it looks kind of like. Oh, 10 seconds left. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, next one. More bird! I love the waiting bird shape. They have these kind of like... Oh, this is a five minute one too. Nice! I have scored. I am lucky this day. They have this wonderful shape for their wings that I enjoy like all the herons do really. A lot of the wavy birds do. It always amazes me how like close his leg can be just to the neck shape. Speaking of which, I'm gonna move that slot slightly out. Doop. I shouldn't be trying to be perfectionist at this stage, but I'm like, bird though, but it bird. Gotta get the leg in. We still got three minutes. I'm just like still in that residual like, ah, ah, panic, <laughs> 30 second mode. Long, long feet on this little guy. Such little dudes, such big feet. I didn't really do a line of action for this, but I think this is... I think this would be the, the weight-bearing foot, this back leg here. I don't know what it is. I actually don't practice animal figure drawing very often, so I'm really excited to see everyone else's because I always feel like I do really real sketchy at these. <laughs> like real real rough, usually. I'm very excited to see everyone else's, but this is just kind of what my initial ones usually look like, my initial drawings. Ooh, actually, this kind of tilts down a little bit more. Still got two minutes, so. Two and a half minutes left, everyone. Sip some water. I, kinda, I wonder what kind of bird this is, because it's got like a cool... I really like the, the pattern on its wings. You can definitely tell it's like a bird that wades in the water based on that wing shape and those legs. You can kind of see the, the nice little layers of feathers. So pretty. This is a pretty bird. <laughs> yeah, I'm just adding little details that I like about it. <laughs> that nice head shape. Oh, one minute remaining, everyone. Emphasize that nice swoop on the bottom. Again, I very rarely focus on the face, usually. 
I, I'm used to like drawing icons and stuff, so I feel like faces is one of the things that I'm not as usually worried about drawing when I do these types of studies, but if you like to, by all means. I'm just bad at focusing on those details for this. I like focusing more on the body. Yes. Oh, yeah. You know, Tamron, sometimes I find what helps is, or at least for me, I find doing like the dashed lines helps, and then using a really thick brush can help because then you feel like you have to go lighter. Ooh, on to the next one. Okay, I swear, I didn't put this many bird. I didn't- I don't know why there's so many birds in this, but there are. Sorry, it's not my fault. It's just like that. It's kind of funny that there are. This is a- Ample bosomed bird. Got some wing deets. I know, I don't know how there's so many birds here. It wasn't my intention. I just said no insects. You all saw, you all saw the preset. I just said no insects. You can see this is kind of like more of a bird that has to like, you can usually kind of guess some deep bits about birds by their, I do that way too big because I'm focusing on it so much. Uh, you can tell about birds a fair bit by what kind of beak shape they have. So the ones that are like more like this are often like, I want to say like fruit and nut, maybe, maybe fruit. Maybe not. And they're like small, but got a point. Oh, that's a terrible eye. It's kind of almost looking down. You know, the wading birds will have more, more of like a long beak to pull stuff out of the water. Be able to get down in there. Birds that eat mostly like seeds and stuff will usually have like a, this is a seed beak right here. <laughs> seed beak waiting beak and then raptors will have more like a sharp <laughs> there's the tongue <laughs> there's some different beak types <laughs> Oh, sorry, your hand's not growing. Doing so good, Tam. <laughs> yeah, this bird looks buff. I kind of want to get... Yeah, okay. Sorry, we have we have a minute left. I'm gonna... I'm giving this bird arms. You can't stop me. This is art. <laughs> I actually have a... Uh... I have a, uh, I think it's like a telegram pack of stickers that's birds with arms <laughs> that I, that I found. I don't know who did it originally, but I'm just like, bless, bless this soul. I'm giving this bird arms. Look at him. Look at him. So majestic with his guns. 
Now I'm saying he, I'm assuming mostly just based on colorful birds are often, are often male birds. I gotta draw his little feet. He skipped leg today. He's just got little legs. Oh, we're done. Whoops. I'm gonna finish that quick. did bad gesture work and that I didn't even scribble out what the other leg was supposed to look like. That's okay. There. That's my bird. I'm proud of this. Okay. Next, the cute score girl. Very excited we have a non-bird. <laughs> oh, hello, Sean Skunk. Welcome. Welcome to the gesture drawing. Alright, so this guy's a nice little C shape. Oh, this this tail goes I'm trying to keep track of kind of like you know, for the pose where elements kinda of overlap, this tail goes right over top right between the ears this music feels is giving me <laughs> it's definitely like the ah get it in a little anxiety i figured some classical music would be nice for the day love the shape of the squirrel okay that's gonna be my gesture and then i'm gonna do Goodness, so cute. Oh, fluffy. I'm not going for any real detail or shading on this one, but if you guys are power to ya. Oh my goodness. I as much as squirrels can be a little annoying sometimes, I think they're just always so cute. I always like slow down for them if they run into the road. I'm like, I just want to appreciate. I kind of got a this kind of shape for the head. This ear is more profile. This one we actually see inside. You don't mind I'm just narrating my thought process as I go on this. I have a little nose that kind of comes down like that. Cute little mouth. eyes kind of almost yeah I breaks the the face shape a little bit okay not that I'm going for I absolutely have to get perfect but I like trying to look at the relationship of the objects we have five minutes left tree rodent yes tree rodent I like that their tails, like, look fluffy, but they're actually, like... Well, they, they are fluffy. The ones around here, they look like pipe cleaners. <laughs> their tails, it's cute. 
Let's see. There we go. Okay, so I can basically go this, this. And then that arm shape kind of comes out like that. I don't think I'm getting the hunch to its back quite dramatic as it is. Then... Little feets. Peets. I like to call them peets. A long time ago. In English's history. Um, P's. F, F kind of replaced. There was like a consonant shift. In how we pronounce things in English. And. F took over for a lot of. P words. So we have like father was father <laughs> more or like so I like I like saying Pete's because it reminds me about that but I think it's also a meme probably I don't know if that's if that initial old English consonant shift is why it happened though probably not but it's something I think is cool Oh, I think it was instead of father, it was popter. Uh, maybe emphasize more of this shape here. I think I like thinking about the shapes the most when I'm doing gesture drawings. It's my thing, the thing I like to focus on the most. But whatever you feel like you want to get out of this, it's a good thing to focus on. So if you're here for more rendering. Or you want to focus on where value is. Yeah, focus on, it, on whatever you feel like is your focus. Hmm. Probably. Let's push some of this over a little bit more. Two minutes left. I don't think I did this far enough over. He's so round. I really like how folded over this little squirrel looks in the for reference drawing. Kind of like this plane. This plane. Like who me? Maybe I can spend the last minute and we got about a minute and a half left, so I'm gonna see if I can't do a better job on this face. Oh <gasps> no! Flash, why would you why would you delete the whole drawing? <laughs> Just because I erased the line. Flash is a cruel mistress. But I still love I still love you, Flash. I'm also using a ridiculously thick brush for this. <laughs> Snouse is kind of smaller. It's kind of got more of a bleep. So it's more of this line here. Of course, gotta have a little highlight. <laughs> Boop. Oh, 
Oh man, Northern Wolf was commenting on the, the toad we had earlier saying he used to get... Was it toads bigger than a grown man's hand? That's crazy. I almost never... We do have toads and we do have frogs. Not where I live currently, but where I used to live was more marshy, so we'd see them more often. Well, not see them, hear them, rather. And you don't get them up here so much, because I live on a hill now. <gasps> We're done! Yay! I hope you are all pleased with your drawings. I'm gonna collect mine together. I think I'm actually pretty happy with this with this squirrel here. Definitely got it. I feel like this has helped me realize, like, I need to spend more time drawing animals. <laughs> more time drawing. Doing gestures for animals. I do a lot more gestures for people, but... This was good. Good practice. Alright, let's quickly... Do we have a quick second? We have four minutes! Quickly, quickly. I'm gonna... If you want to post your stuff up, I'll see if I can pull that up first. And I'll post mine probably last in the Discord. Oh, I missed one from the Tea Lord. Oh, that looks so good. Sorry, I will. Let's see if I can't open link. Oh, tea Lord had one, some as well. Oh, those are so good. I love it. Oh, I love the shading to help differentiate the different places. You guys are so talented. This is great. Thank you so much for, for drawing along with us today. Let's see if we have a very quick second. Ooh, three minutes. Can we... Do we think we can collect our drawings that fast? Um, so, just a reminder, we're going to have a another life drawing just on the Discord in half an hour. And those are going to be uh, noon models that time. So it is not safe for work, just as a heads up. It's just going to be educational, though. Same rules apply. Be respectful of the models. I think another rule would be don't make it weird. <laughs> That'll be happening in half an hour on the Discord server, because it's not safe for work. So, I hope we'll see some of you there. It's a shorter one because we're only going to be doing uh, the nude models. But, this will be very educational. Man, I just really ate it anytime I tried to draw a horse. <laughs> that's okay. I, I need to practice horses more if I want to draw them better. And that's okay. It's okay to need more practice. And if I never draw horses again, then I don't I don't need to. It's fine. <laughs> I don't have to do anything, which is kind of the nicest thing about art. You can kind of go whichever way you feel like. I didn't get all that flamingo, but I love those shapes. All right. We're pretty much out of time, so I'm just going to say thank you so much for coming. It was a pleasure drawing with you guys. I hope we can do this again next time. Practice on your own if you like. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Thank you.